Hello, Derek and Courtney. I'm so thrilled to be here with you today to talk about books for young children um, to open the discussion about diversity and empathy. The first book I'm going to talk about is Strictly No Elephants by Lisa Manchap. In this book, a little boy has a pet elephant. When it's club day, club meeting day, he arrives at the club and there is a big sign on the door that says strictly no elephants. So he's left out because he has an unusual pet. What he does is he wisely makes his own pet club and in his pet club, everyone is welcome, including all pets. And it's a wonderful story to talk about empathy, kindness and inclusiveness. The next book I have for you today is a beautiful book called The Day You Begin by Jacqueline Woodson. And in this book, a little girl is starting school for the first time. And what she finds is that not everyone looks like her, but she also finds out that everyone has their own unique differences. And in this book, we learn that it's a glorious world that we live in and we each have our own differences, but we also have our own sameness and we also have things that we have in common. So it's also a really, really great first of day of school book, but also a, a way to discuss that we have differences, but we also have things in common. My next book is All Are Welcome by Alexandra Pinful. You can tell by these colorful illustrations on the cover that there are kids of all shapes and sizes from all over the world gathering together in a school setting, and they are all accepting of the differences that they have and the commonality that they have. It's cheerful, it's bright, and it's a great way to welcome kids to the school year in a way that you can see that the children have something in common. My next book is by Lupita Nyong'o, and this is Solwe. Solwe, as you can see with this gorgeous illustration by Vashti Harrison, is a beautiful young girl. But Solwe doesn't believe she's beautiful. She thinks she's too dark. Because in her family, there are all shades of darkness. But with a mother's love and a father's love, Solwe is reassured that she is beautiful in her own right. I think it's a great introduction to talk about color and to talk about ways that everyone is beautiful in their own way. My last book is the award-winning The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander with the gorgeous illustrations by Kadir Nelson. This is a tribute to African-Americans. This is a tribute to people who have come and gone, people that we know today. And it opens up the conversation about some people that we might not know that did some really, really powerful things in their day. Um, movers and shakers, we have musicians, we have artists, we have politicians, we have people of all kinds from all walks of life in here. And it's a loving, moving tribute to all of them. This is a time when I think we need to talk about uh, talks about these important books. And hopefully this summer you will take an opportunity to stop by the store and learn more about these books and other books that you can share with children and open up conversations in your family, in your classroom. And I'm thrilled to just be here to be able to help you in that endeavor. Very nice. If you would like to connect with Valerie, you can check out the Scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. All of that entire selection sounds fabulous. We'll be right back.